So, after three tries, I think I finally have gotten the, the right bag for me. It's, uh, it's the large size of the Cabela's Advanced Angler Series bags, which are touted as uh, real solid construction. And having worked with this thing now for a few days, I'd have to agree. Pretty good construction. Anyway, so here's my gear that I would like to store in my bag. Got my plastics, maybe some jigs, hooks, some surface lures, crankbaits. Then this is an optional, may take it or may leave it, some hula poppers, buzz baits. And then, uh, of course, another optional would be the salmon box if I'm going salmon fishing. Also, uh, spinner baits. I went ahead and got a spinner bait box. And some extra accoutrements that would also get in there. Excess worms, maybe an extra reel, uh, bug juice, lotion, digital scale, lip stuff, polarized shades, wallet keys, measuring devices, uh, some needle noses, license, and a big thing of smoked almonds. So let's see how it all goes in there. This is the bag. It's got a, a nice feature is this hard plastic bottom, which is about an inch, inch and a half tall. I can put this in a puddle of water and nothing will ever get wet. It's nice and rock solid. It's got a good, uh, these rubber net like pouches on all sides, including the back and the sides to put things. It's got a front pouch here for easy access stuff. Uh, I'll just start taking you through. It's got plenty of pouches and very flexible as for its usage, but first and foremost, the main compart compartment. These are my three I'm always going to have with me. They go on their edge. And for stability wise, I like to have one on each end. If I'm going to opt for spinner baits, it's going to displace three more of these, which could ultimately get in there. But I like that because this front pouch. I can take one of my optional ones, whether I'm going salmon fishing or if I want to go to like a sandy pond where I want some buzz baits, I can take that fourth option and that can fit right in this front. It's made for the 3650, the Plano 3650 case. So I'll probably always have one in that front. I've got a nice void in here where I can go ahead and take my excess pile of worms and probably my extra reel and that'll probably do that or I could say forget the spinner baits and stick another couple of these in here because I got some of these extra trays so that's the main compartment on the side I throw my digital scale my shades what else would I want to put in there that's probably it for that side my other side is probably a good thing to throw my my sun lotion and my bug juice. My bug juice I probably like to keep out here so I don't get any juice inside the bag with almonds, various snacks. Things I want to be able to see a lot. I'll probably throw like my keys up on the top, tape measure, clippers. That's probably all I put on the top. My top pouch. My wallet, that could go a number of places. Uh, I'd probably go ahead and sneak that wallet in the side pouch just so it doesn't fall out. Plenty of room. Lip goo. I think I'd throw that in here. I don't know. But really, what that's made for, these front pouches are pretty sweet. Open that up. Throw your needle nose in there, and that's where those stay. Forgot to show you one thing on the inside here, which is where I'd probably put, this would be a good place for the wallet actually, there's a clear kind of waterproof pouch in there. My license, my pen, and again, probably a pretty good spot for a wallet. And there you have it, that's the bag right there. Comes with a nice padded shoulder strap. And that's it. Not 
So for comparison's sake, here's my old box, and there's my new bag. This thing's way cooler. And to, to accompany this, I got a, a dry bag that comes with a shoulder strap. That's pretty rare in the, in the world of dry bags. This is a 30 liter, which I find to be perfect for a pair of shoes, a change of clothes, knit cap, and maybe even more worms or, you know, a couple more of these to just ideally go in there. But this thing's out with the old and in with the new.